Sabah everybody and welcome back to Exposed Tuesdays. Today I want to talk to you guys about Exposed and Android Oreo, the status of Android Oreo as far as using Exposed. What are the options that you have? What can you do to be able to get Exposed running on your Android Oreo device? This is TK, let's check it out. As you know, the OnePlus 5 did receive the Android Oreo update officially. The OnePlus 5T is running it on a beta version, but the most part, Android 8.0 is here. Uh, we're gonna be having it on almost every single OnePlus device within the last couple of years. And the main benefit here, of course, is that we're gonna get some of those optimizations that we get with Android Oreo. One thing we were worried about, of course, when you upgraded Android Oreo is that you were gonna lose Exposed. And, well, let's not worry. Exposed is finally here. Rover 89 last week did release the official uh, somewhat beta version of Exposed running on Android Oreo. So that's 8.0 and 8.1. So we have the ability to be installing the Exposed installer. Let's go over here into the framework and we can definitely make sure that it's running as you guys could see here. The installation process is no different than any of the other exposed modules. You need to make sure you have a custom recovery. So for me, what I did here is I went into the system. Let's go ahead and reboot. We're gonna go into the recovery. Of course, we wanna make sure that we're running the latest version. So I'm running 3.2.1-0. We can go into the install tab, scroll all the way to the bottom. Uh, now we can, I installed Magix on here and I'll talk to you guys in about a second. Uh, and I also have a full re backup of my operating system. Uh, but the main thing you wanna install is the Expose version 90 SDK 26 if you're running Android 8.0. If you're running Android 8.1, you wanna run SDK 27. That's just the corresponding number. It is currently in beta. So it's version 90 beta one, and that's what we have installed. Once you have that installed, you'll be able to basically access it and just have have to reboot the system and here you have it it works it's working fine you'll be able to access it and turn it on um, I want to be able to basically say that this is still in the early stages but definitely a very nice uh, step into Oreo as we waited a very long time for Android N771 to get the update back in October now we're in January of 2018 and we're right off the bat. We have Oreo where most devices are not even on Oreo. So for the most part, Expose got you covered on almost every single device. I didn't go through the process of installing Expose for you guys here. If you do want to see a video like that, let me know in the comments below. But the short answer is this. You do need to have an unlock bootloader. So if your device is locked, unlocking it will erase everything on your system. You need to be aware of that. So back up all your stuff, unlock your device, install a custom recovery. You do need that to be able to go through this process as in the stock recovery on our OnePlus devices or even our Pixel devices will not allow us to install custom zip files. After that, you can install the binaries for the exposed module, for the exposed uh, framework, basically. And make sure you get the 26 for 8.0 and 27 for 8.1. Um, and of course, if you're gonna be using Magisk, that'll, that'll be the same process to install it. Make sure you get the uh, APK manager, which will be able to give you access to the main system, or you can use XDA Labs, which I think is a very functional way because you're getting kind of double of stuff here. You're getting the access to the XDA uh, app store, which has a lot more applications that you may not find on the Google Play Store. But not only that, you also have access to the exposed framework uh, modules. So those are things that you can get out of the lab. So I feel like if you use labs, it's a much better application. I'll give you guys a link, of course, to the description in the description to XDA Labs, as well as the, the framework and all of that stuff. Again, if you want to see a video of how to get this thing installed on your OnePlus 5, uh, of course, soon we'll be able to even get it on our OnePlus 5T when it becomes fully out of beta, although it does work in beta because 8.1 is also supported. Uh, so if you have a Pixel device, a OnePlus device, a device that is rooted and modded, uh, basically a custom recovery, and you want to try this out, definitely very nice. Uh, for me, I'm very happy to have it on OnePlus 5 because that was one of my only problems that I had when I upgraded to Android Oreo. I lost, <laughs> exposed, and now we got it back. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video and supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video and I'll talk to you guys in the comments.